We're going to take a look now at how to review, print, and publish report cards in EDSB. So I'm logged in here as a school administrator, and up here on the right, I'm going to go to the report card zoom. The report card zoom allows me to see all of the report cards that have been submitted so far. And by default, it opens to this sheet view. The sheet view allows me to see on a per class basis what's happening with my report cards. So I can see I've got several different statuses here. Some of these show with a gray dot. These are the report cards that are either overdue or unsubmitted. My teachers haven't completed those yet. The ones here in yellow have been submitted by my teachers and are available for me to take a look at and review. And those in green, these are the ones that I've already looked at and approved. So typically I'm going to start with those that are in yellow. I want to look at these that have been submitted for review. And if I open up this report card sheet, again, this is exactly what my teachers have filled in. If it looks good to me, I can just click the approve button. And what we'll see is that that status changes. And so now that, that particular sheet is green. And I can just work through all of the ones that have been handed in and uh, continue approving these. And we're good to go with that. If I need to make changes, I can do that as well. So here's a report card sheet for review. And when I open this up, notice that I have a button here that says unlock for editing. This allows me to come in. And if I want to maybe edit the comment, correct the type or whatever it might have happen to be, I can do that. And I can resubmit to the office, at which point I can approve it. I can also, if I want, send this back to the teacher. So if time permits, I can request corrections and say to the teacher, teacher, please you know, provide a more insightful or more precise comment, for example. And then when they resubmit it, that'll come back to me and I can approve it later. For now, I'll just go ahead and approve this. If I have some report card sheets that have not been handed in and I need to print these things out anyway, it's time to go, I can also fill these in myself. So here's one that was unsubmitted by my PE teacher. It looks to me exactly like it would look for that person. And I can come in and, for example, uh, we'll go ahead and give all of our students A's today. There we are. And so I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, submit this to the office and approve it. So now I have completed report card sheets for all of my third grade students, which works out pretty nicely. There we go. So next thing to do is in order to print these, we need to look at it from a student point of view. And if I switch now in the Zoom to the student view, it's going to show me for all my different students how many report card sheets they have and what's been filled out. And I can even get a little bit of a preview of this. So Palmer right now, um, he's got eight sheets and it says all are unsubmitted. And if I click on his name, it tells me that the report card entries have not yet been submitted for that student. Over here for Tommy, if I click on his name, I can see exactly what's been handled in. Now, what this will look like on screen is a little bit different. And so if I go to the preview, this is actually the print version of that same card. So I can see how Edsby rolls all that together. But I don't really want to have to do this on a student by student basis. I would print all of our report cards together if I can. So the easiest way for me to do that is to come down here where it says, Twine Academy Report Card. I'm going to pick all of the printable report cards right now. And those that are printable are those that have had report card sheets submitted. So here are all of the kids that have printable report cards. And I can come right here to the print button. And what Edsby does is it puts together the printed version for all of my students, one per page with appropriate page breaks. And then all I need to do is hit the print button and send this off to a printer. Um, one detail that is worth noting is a lot of our report card templates include this shaded background. In order for that shaded background to show, make sure that in your printer settings that you are telling it that background graphics should be printed. If that's not selected, then everything turns white. It doesn't look quite as nice. So just watch for that checkbox. And if I hit print, this will go out to my printer. So hopefully that makes it pretty easy. The other thing that we can do here is we can publish these report cards online. So if I come back to the sheet view, you'll notice that there's a publish button right here. And when I click that, actually it's giving me a warning here. The warning is saying those classes that haven't been submitted for review can't be published yet. So anything that has a gray dot on it is not going to be included in when I publish. And if I want those sheets to be visible later, I'd need to come back and do this again. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to publish anyway. And what happens now is Edsby changes the status for everything that I had approved, and those items are now blue, indicating that they're published. And the published report cards are the ones that parents and students will be able to view right through Edsby when they log in through a browser. All right, so that is reviewing and printing report cards. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.